types of disruptive behavior disorders. We've all known someone who seemed to be intentionally disruptive. The class clown in school, the family member always wanting negative attention, or how about that coworker that everyone has a hard time working with? Sometimes it seems like these people don't want to regulate their own behavior. And sometimes it's because they actually can't. Disruptive Impulse Control and Conduct Disorders, or DICs, are increasingly recognized as very real, very serious mental health matters that require professional treatment to get under control. An interesting feature of DICs is how the person's inner turmoil is expressed outwardly. They literally drag other people into their dilemma. There are a lot of different types of these disorders. One of the most common ones is called Oppositional Defiant Disorder, or ODD. As the name implies, people with ODD have a real problem with authority figures and will deliberately act in a way that opposes them in order to defy them. Someone with ODD can't help themselves, even if that means acting against their own best interests. Out of almost pure spite, they go out of their way to argue or ignore requests to comply with policies. They're compelled to misbehave, to do things they're not supposed to. This sets up situations where they're always in trouble or getting blamed for things. In their own minds, they can use this as an excuse to feel victimized. In turn, those feelings of victimhood seem to justify their emotions of displaced anger and resentment. Whatever problems or circumstances led to the disorder, those issues are now amplified by new ones that the disorder creates at home, work, or school. In some ways, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy where a person might feel they aren't liked, so they act in ways that make people not want to like them. Once caught in this loop, it's hard to get out without external help, such as therapy, social skills training, and for parents of kids with ODD, parent management training. A related disorder that applies to minors up to age 18 is called conduct disorder, which is actually even more serious than ODD. Now the person is getting aggressive about their acting out. They might get into fights, try to bully or hurt other people, engage in animal cruelty, carry around weapons, damage property, or run away. They're also prone to stealing, lying, and trying to cover up their actions. Conduct disorders are best treated with early intervention and family therapy strategies. One more DIC is Intermittent Explosive Disorder. In a nutshell, this displays externally when a person reacts to a situation in a way that's way out of proportion, like a road rage incident, for example. These explosions might become common occurrences for that person, with other people or things getting verbally or even physically hurt as a result of that outburst. Two less common but very serious disorders are pyromania, where a person is compelled to set fires, and kleptomania, which drives people to steal things they don't even necessarily want or need. Per the American Psychiatric Association, to be classified as disruptive behavior disorders, they must be frequent, long-lasting, occur across different situations, and cause significant problems. The most effective treatments involve therapy, but sometimes medication is prescribed if the sufferer is experiencing other mental health issues as well. Now that you know more about disruptive behavior disorders, take comfort in knowing that Imperium is on your side to help restore your confidence and quality of life. Call or register with us today and let's get you the help you need. Follow us on social media 